This is an TTGO T1 display board, which is an ESP32 powered development board, which have an ST7789V 1.14 inch display. Here's a cool project for this board, an internet clock. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use this TTGO board in order to make your own smartwatch or an internet watch in few easy steps. So let's get started. I always wanted to make a clock project as it required many components jam pack into a one smaller form factor. Like for example, to run a clock, we need a power source, which is this lipo cell. And in order to use this lipo cell, we have to make a charging circuit or a discharging circuit of some kind. Also the clock need a deep sleep mode, which will save the battery from getting discharged constantly. The charging circuit will have an overcharging or over discharging setup that will protect the battery from getting overcharged or over discharge. But the TTGO T1 already have a battery management IC. So we don't really need to make any complex circuitry of any sort. Also no PCB is needed for this setup. Even for the body of the clock, I will be making a custom enclosure that will have slots for a wrist strap. Anyways, let's get started with the main part of this small build, which is the editing of the main sketch. But even before that, these are the things that you need for this small build. TTGO T display board, stable Wi-Fi connection, and your country's UTC. You can find your country's UTC from this link. Before starting this project, you required ESP32 board code files installed on the Arduino IDE, which is a necessity. Install them from here. So first, open the simple time sketch, which can be found in the example, ESP32 time and simple time. This is the generic internet clock sketch that we will use as a base sketch. Our goal is to display the time which is in the serial monitor on the TTGO display and for that we have to change few lines of code in this sketch. We first add our SSID and password into this sketch. Now we have to add GTM offset second which can be found from here. For example, I live in India and the GTM here is plus 5 hours and 30 minutes. Plus 5 hours and 30 minutes in seconds is 19,800 seconds. So we have to add 19,800 in the GTM offset. The next is the daylight offset. If your country have daylight saving time, then set it according to that in time in seconds. And if there is not, then set it to zero. Find out about the daylight saving time from here. This will be the final sketch. Not exactly final as this is just for printing the time on the serial monitor. Plug your TTGO board to your computer. Select the right board in the board manager, which is the TTGO T display. Select the right port and hit upload. Now open the serial monitor and you will see the ESP32 will connect with your Wi-Fi network and after few seconds, the time will start printing at a repetitive rate at an interval of one second. If your time is not correct, then this might be because of an error in the UTC offset and daylight saving offset. Now, this was the basic internet time sketch. For displaying this on this TTGO T1 board, we only have to use a simple function that let us display anything on TTGO display. But before that, you need to install this library, which is a TFT display library that we required for this task. We first add the TFT ESPI library and other important line of code, which is required to print anything on this display. Now, here's the main sketch. Upload this sketch to your TTGO board and this will be the result.
as for the battery i have used a 3.7 volt 500 milliampere lipo cell which i have salvaged from an old project i have to change the connecting wire of the lipo cell to a smaller connecting wire which was included in the ttgo t1 board This was the basic setup for the watch project. The next is to design a body for this setup and for that I will be using the Fusion 360. I designed this body for TTGO board which look like an M5 Stixi. The 3D model for this TTGO board was downloading from the GrabCAD user Mimosa. I leave the download link in the video description so you can go over there and download the board step file from there. For now, I haven't decided on the wrist strap for this project. I will probably buy a generic leather strap for this project as well. This is all for part 2. The basic setup of this watch is this. A TTGO T display board hooked up with a lipo cell which displays the current time and date on its display. And this is all enclosed in a nicely 3D printed body. Pretty cool, right? If yes, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Check out this project page for the code and other details. Stay tuned for the part 2 of this watch project and I'll be back.